pretty dedicated. We've, um, even though we have a lot of inexperienced kids, they've been here since the spring, put a lot of time in, so um, we're happy with that. And I think we've had a big focus on our grades this year and have some new team rules and things like that that we're really trying to work on to make sure that we're working hard in the classroom as we are on the mat. And I think we've made some changes that have really helped us. I think as a team, we definitely have a chance to surprise a lot of people uh, statewide just because we have a lot of really good guys who uh, maybe uh, got a lot better over the summer and spring or who uh, were really good last year but not quite at the level they are this year. Uh, for myself, I expect to be a state champion like we're all trained to be in here. Um, from the team, I expect everybody to treat each other like family and by the end of the year we all hope to bring home a team trophy at state and multiple team individual titles. I expect to be pushed to my limits, doing everything I can to be the best, uh, plan on making it to be a state finalist this year, you know, work my hardest, and for the team, and I, I think this year we could get a state title, a state placing as a team. So. I think we'll do really good. I mean, it sounds like a big goal, but everything we do is to win a state title, and that's how we train for stuff. Um, Short-term goals and stuff, I think we're going to take some losses at the beginning, and it's a pretty big growing experience. We're going to look to our returners for a lot of leadership now and rely on them for a while, but especially from 52 up, we're going to be all new guys, and I think by the time districts come, we'll be ready. It's just a learning process for them. And, a lot of them are pretty far behind, so it's not about so much learning how to wrestle, but learning how to win and what's effective. So I think at the beginning of the, the new year in January, we're going to be a different team than we are next week. From uh, 13 to 45, we're going to have all kids that we expect to be state medalists, and I think they do too. And then from 52 to uh, heavyweight, it's pretty much, they're all football players, but we took some of the best athletes on that football team and we're teaching them how to wrestle. So. That's good, and our middleweights have worked a lot with them too, so I mean, we think all our guys are competitive. Oh yeah, we're, we're a family. We take, out, we take care of each other, we look out for each other, and uh, I mean, we're best friends on and off. Uh, on the mat, I mean, we get a little aggressive sometimes, but that's good, it's competition, we like that kind of stuff, and it's just, it's great whenever we can step off the mat and we just forget everything that has happened today and we go right back to being best friends. Our team really uh, works together well on and off the mat, I would say. Uh, at tournaments, we have a really good time training each other on and just at practice, we have a really good time just hanging out. Obviously, Jared coming through for us last year and winning state title is something that we thought would make an impact on our program and they did that and right away. Less than a month after that, you know, we have 10 or 15 new kids that want to come work out in the spring and we get new faces in here and stuff. So, um, like I said from the very beginning, we hoped that's what was going to happen and it did. So, uh, lots of new faces and a lot of kids wishing they would have started a long time ago, but it puts us in a good spot now. Over the years, it's starting to become bigger. Like my freshman year, we had 20 kids. My sophomore year, it started, it started gradually going up throughout my high school career. And even throughout Little League, when I was here for Little League, it was really small. It's gotten a lot bigger from when I started to now. We had some additions. We had some uh, seniors on the football team come out this year. And I think that's really been key to uh, showing other people that wrestling is it's a good sport and it's tough. And uh, just to see those other guys do it, I think they serve as role models for uh, some of the other younger football players. Football guys, we love having them. They're a lot of fun. They're new, so you get to basically build their foundation. So it's great to wrestle with them, and they have a lot of potential. Uh, we don't believe in cutting weight. We believe in keeping a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy, small portions, watching our portions, and it mainly just keep all the bad stuff out of our body and the good stuff in. Eat very healthily and stay very hydrated, but slowly uh, control your portions and just slowly get down to weight. Eat healthier, not so much eat junk food every night, no more chips, chips, chips just go out the window, you don't need to eat those, they're not good for you. So uh, some things that I like to eat are just like salads, 
and uh, just stick to your basic greens and then add a little bit of protein in there. Well, we don't cut at all. It's all about management and a better lifestyle for all of them. And we work a lot with nutrition and things like that so that if we're cutting, we're not going to focus on getting better. So in the room, it's about getting better. And then as far as their weight management, that's on them. And they understand they've been educated that it's a lifestyle and we're not going to cut weight. We're going to be as strong as we can at the weight we're at. Uh, first, I look at the kid, I see his body style, body type, I, right then and there I kind of figure out what kind of wrestler he's going to be. You know, I'm about four or five moves in whenever I step out on the mat because, you know, it's chain wrestling, you're never going to really know what's going on until you're out there, so it's good to plan ahead. Mainly it's like what I'm going to do during the match. Like I always try to have a game plan of what I think will happen versus what will happen. If this happens and I do this, if this doesn't happen, then I have something else in mind. It's mainly going through there and I'm just trying to get pumped up. But, uh, my legs are always really, really sore. I'm just trying to get stretched out. Honestly, that's all I'm thinking about is just trying to limber up and, and get ready uh, to go out there and do what I can. Well, honestly, for me, I would say it was this wrestling program. I'm really glad I got to uh, go to a school where I had a coach like Coach Ohm, and uh, I'm just glad I got involved in this program, and I've uh, worked so hard uh, to get where I am. Like, the kids at the school, they all participate in being a fan, being in the stands, like with football, with basketball. We have a lot of fans as the student body at wrestling. We have... I just like the school. There's not a lot of bad things in the school. My classes are great. Just the atmosphere. You know, we got a great school. We got great kids in the school. We're, we're all great people here. We're well-rounded people. and I like coming to the school to just get to communicate with people. I think everyone needs to give it a shot. I mean, I've never met someone that started wrestling late and is disappointed. They, you know, they all wanted to start earlier and they wish they would have. And I think the biggest thing that I tell when I work with Little League kids a lot, with my son being at that age and being around a lot of Little League rooms, is that every kid in the world is growing up wants to wrestle. That it's natural for kids to wrestle and play around with their friends and stuff. And a lot of times parents are the ones that discourage them from doing that. So just let them follow that, it's going to be good. I mean, it's the one sport that they've all wanted to do. Even boys, girls, everybody, all kids do that. So if we give them opportunities and a way to do that, I think we're going to be in a lot better spot.